This is Carrie and Carmen, and we are with Dicta Solutions in the Shoe Mold and Communicate uh, training course in Teleco Plains, Tennessee. Uh, we just finished up the four-day course. Um, excellent course. We learned a lot. This is our third time here. Um, as far as the um, different things that we learned in each one and just the atmosphere, different every time. Um, I can't say that it was not beneficial um, or we didn't learn something new. Um, everything's changing all the time. Um, there's always the day training, night training, um, different scenarios um, from how many people are, are in the situations to um, critiquing your different moves, um, what you do, how to make yourself better, um, giving different situations, um, surprise situations, um, just stuff that if something were to happen in real life, you're mentally prepared um, from the repetitions and everything that's going on, um, just so that you're, you're prepared. So it's something that you think that you're gonna be ready for and you realize real quick, every time that we've come, that you're not um, highly beneficial um, including just even the cost of it. You're not going to find anything out there that's um, even comparable to the price and for what you get from training early in the morning up till midnight if you want to be here till then. Um, the trainers going over your videos at night that they record to critique and make you better the next day so that they can zone in and individually train with you to make sure that you're improving. Um, just highly um, intense on making sure that you're doing your best. Um, we will be back. One of the biggest takeaways that I have from the course is the camaraderie, meeting new people who are similar living, Christ-like minded, not necessarily you have to be improper, but just to be with like-minded individuals to where you don't have to tiptoe around conversations and talk about a lot of the some people would consider taboo topics that most people either refuse or shy away from. And each time we've attended, we have made great friends and lifetime friends attending a course. And that in itself is really valuable, not to mention the, the skill set and learning a lot about what, what uh, can, we can improve on to make uh, ourselves better prepared and better and able body to protect ourselves and protect our loved ones and our families and a lot of information that we will be able to take home and pass on to our loved ones so they can find themselves in a better situation. And I would definitely recommend this to anybody that owns a weapon, whether it's a personal carry or just uh, a shotgun that was their dad's that's in the house. Uh, you know, the trainers, Doug especially, he was former law enforcement, so after uh, a scenario, he'll ask you questions that a law enforcement officer would be asking you directly after if, heaven forbid, you were in a situation where you had to defend yourself or you had to defend your loved ones. And the questions that are going to be the same ones that the cop would ask you after that. So having that kind of awareness and knowing what and what not to say is uh, important, I think. Yeah, it can be life-changing. Um, yeah, it's definitely made me more confident um, just going into a situation and not cowering and just going into it and knowing how to handle it um, to where before I might have hid or not known what to do. Um, now I have the confidence to go right into um, a situation and handle it. Um, with the skills on how to do it correctly um, to still keep myself safe and um, take care of the threat and help my loved ones if need be. Well, my confidence level, I definitely feel like I'm not a liability. I am more of an asset. If something were to arise, people 
more like, what do we do? What do we do? I definitely feel I would be able to speak up and step up and not just say, but show what needs to be done or should be done to better any kind of situation where confusion or fear can easily, easily take over and make a bad day really hard. Excited about the uh, coming down here to Dollywood at Pigeon Falls and Pigeon Forge, and I love the the bouncy room that uh, they had set up in the balloons and the clowns. I mean, it, it's all about the clowns. So, um, no, but seriously, this is a awesome training, awesome experience. <clears throat> I drove over a thousand miles to get here. Um, I've been putting off coming to one of these trainings because I thought I knew it all. I thought I had everything I, I needed um, for what is to come. And uh, this was an, a big eye opener for me. And you know, I would just say that if, if, you're, if you've been putting it off or that you think you're too old, um, I'm 60. And I'm not in the best health. I have artificial knees and diabetes. And, but uh, I came anyhow. I just had the feeling that I, I should be down here. So I made the effort. And uh, I couldn't be happier. I couldn't be happier with the training. Um, Doug and the guys are just the best spiritual and... Uh, physical leaders, <clears throat> trainers. Um, there's no, you know, we didn't have to do push-ups or calisthenics or run five miles, which I'm grateful. Um, but it was physical. Um, and one of the things that taught me is uh, I'm not in very good shape. And that's my biggest challenge is to get back into some core strength. Um, to to be able to uh, use my equipment and fight and protect my family, um, I need to be in better shape. And if I leave here with anything, uh, and he gave me a lot, Doug gave me uh, lots of things that I should do uh, to do that without killing myself and work myself into it. And. That is, that is what I'm going to do when I leave here. Um, the training itself started out, like they say, at a crawl, and then it was a walk, and then it was a sprint. And kind of by the time you got to the sprint part, um, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't that hard. I mean, it was, I was already used to wearing this body armor and all the full kit uh, by then. And it really wasn't a big deal. So, like I said, if, if uh, I mean, it, for the money, uh, wow, and now he's actually lowered the price. I don't know why anybody wouldn't be coming down here to do this. I mean, uh, what's taking care of your family worth? I mean, protecting your loved ones. Uh, it, it, it's, it's priceless. So, if you're hesitating, if you're on the fence, get off. Come down here and shoot some clowns. God bless. And this is our second time taking the course by American Detective. Um, it's been it's been interesting. That's um, a lot of uh, things that I thought I knew. that I was wrong. Um, there's a lot to learn. There's a lot of things that I found out about myself, uh, tactics that I would use at home in case of an emergency. Um, and you're, you're former military. Yeah, so. yeah. So, so, you know, one thing that was made clear was, you know, just a lot of the things that you would prioritize, things that you would do differently, you know, when you're in the military, overseas, the time trainers you get. That's 
some of that stuff. It's a little bit different when you go inside when you're at home and you do a civilian again and you're drawn into work. No one's coming in after you. Yeah, yeah, you're not with a squad. You don't have 16 bunnies next to you. It's, it's a little bit different. Um, it's just you and your wife, or just you and your husband, and your kids, and whatnot. It's, it, you know, you have to think about things a little bit differently. Um, and the benefit of taking this course is that it allowed us to think about that stuff in a different way. Um, so I was able to leverage some of the training that I received before and apply it in a different way where it's more uh, realistic. It's, it's, Usable um, at home uh, when, when I go to work and you know, my, my wife is at home. Uh, it, it really helps you know, kind of narrow, narrow in the stuff that I, I can't use and shouldn't use. It's probably not the best thing, best approach uh, when it comes to certain situations. It just retains some of the stuff that was good and corrects some of the bad habits that I may have picked up you know, and then prior work. training. Me, I don't have any prior training. I'm a full-time housewife. Just all I do is go grocery shopping and come home. So prior to this, I only had fundamentals of shooting guns, thanks to him, and having to learn how to even just hold a gun correctly as you're maneuvering corners and learning what things um, you need to do for yourself to more effective. For me, I just rush in there and I go too fast. So I had to take a step back and just go slowly and really just work that angle to be successful. And uh, this is our second time taking this course and we're a hundred percent going to do it the third, maybe fourth time if we're able. It's really made a difference in our confidence levels with him. He works an hour away from me. I'm home 10 hours of the day all by myself. It gives him peace of mind knowing that I can handle if someone comes into the home or if an emergency arises. And uh, yeah, I've, I've been a victim before and this course and this ministry has helped me work through that so much and just gain back my confidence as just a lady without any prior experience so I feel much safer in my home and outside of my home so knowing that I'm able to help myself help my husband our children and even strangers perhaps if there was an emergency to arise because it's it's only going to get worse the scenario the scenarios that they have for us it's it's really good it's really, I'm, I'm sure you can agree. Uh, it, it's really good. It's realistic. Um, they really don't focus on the tactical, uh, you know, the, these, these weird tactics that I, I wouldn't expect my wife to do at <laughs> all. Um, they don't form these scenarios where it is so outlandish and out there that uh, it's really hard to conceptualize that in your own home. You yeah. really stick to things that are pretty base. Uh, things that are based on statistics. They even use some scenarios that are uh, um, based on events that have happened in the past. School uh, shootings. Based, school shootings. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously, uh, our instructor, uh, you know, he has prior experience uh, working in law enforcement and watching him go through some of the houses, go through some of the scenarios, talk about some of the most common situations that he's been in when he's entering the home and it's uh it's a domestic issue uh it's uh, it, it's it's usually uh, uh, couples fighting with each other a break-in uh just ver various things on based on you know real experiences just stuff that he encountered a lot and then him sharing his knowledge on hey here's how to approach it here's things that you know every time we come in if we have to call the reports Here's the most common things that we have to really try and figure out because uh, when this happens and we're trying to collect intel on who shot a little bit, why did you shoot them? Articulation. It, it's that's that's a big yeah. one that tripped up a lot of people in this yeah. training. You know, 
after we ran through all of these scenarios, he introduced another element, which is the play of God. Yeah. He played a God. He's just like, all right, tell me what just happened. Yeah. Right? And the amount of question marks <laughs> that yeah. appeared. Um, and it, it's it really, all... It really, it really yeah. pointed out, you know, a weakness, which is, you know, when, you're, when your adrenaline is up and you're going through these scenarios, you forget some stuff. Yeah. Tunnel vision. You get, you get that tunnel vision. And uh, again, it's stuff that you find out doing training. Um, so, yeah, it, I think it's a net positive. That's why we keep a second time figuring out more stuff that, you know, we never really know. And, it's a struggle. And what's nice is you get, to, you get to test out all the things you're spending your hard money on. Are you just going to wear, like, are you just going to wear this to the range and be like, yep, it. It works. That was yeah. great. <laughs> Paper target didn't move. Okay. No, no moving targets at the range out yeah. here. There are moving targets. That's one. Two, uh, they talk back to you. Okay? So for anybody that's curious about this training, they are not just putting paper targets here. They they will start you off and you'll, you know, you'll be a little bit concerned on what's going on here. But then when those paper targets are removed and they put the actual instructors in house yes, role players and they're talking to you they're compliant sometimes they're not compliant uh they're shooting back at you they're screaming uh, they're at you around the house yeah. um they, 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 they just they try to put you in these very uncomfortable situations that, and it feels and it, real it, feel, it, it will feel real. real yeah so it's super helpful um it, it really helps highlight some of the things that you should be paying attention to the gear that you don't have that you should probably get, get on top of it, acquire it. Uh, basic weapon handling, you know, you get a new gun, you come down to this training, you figure out, hey man, I'm holding the gun the wrong way, right? You know, that, that was a big thing I saw with other people here. Uh, it's, it, it's great, man. Uh, that's that's just a, another thing. Uh, just working together as a couple, you know, that's a whole different, that's a whole different thing we have to work on. Yeah, you know? that helped a lot. It was great. So, you know, knowing how to walk with you in the house, out of the yeah. house, it's very important. Uh, even making some of those tough decisions where I'm not letting you go first. I, I, I am going to go first in these situations and knowing how we can kind of work together in, yeah. in that scenario. Yeah, and pick up each other's slack. And yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah. It's different priorities in every scenario. Sometimes there's already gunfire in the house, and you know your spouse is in the house. You're not doing the same tactics you would do if, say, oh, I'm just on my couch reading a book and I hear someone breaking my home. Those are two different things. So they really just—it's very real. It's real life scenarios, and the men here who train you—they are very good actors. It will feel real. And it's it's just been great. So um, we definitely recommend it. Definitely recommend it. We'll attend again. If you enjoy, most likely we'll see us <laughs> at some point. Yeah, at some point. Or stories. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ask Doug what happened when I threw a tourniquet at his face. So. During one of the scenarios. <laughs> we'll leave at, it at that. At night. <laughs> Ask. <laughs> I, will, I will not share any more details, but definitely ask about that.